Hello everyone and welcome to another part of Let's Play Europa Universalis Free Divine Vent with Mayo Mode where we play the Kingdom of Mali. I think it's a despotic kingdom, yes, it is uh, a despotic kingdom. Now, last time when we left off, uh, we made plan to attack Kanembornu, who just entered war with Tuamten, Chandarolu, uh, Zazao, and mainly the Mamluks. Now, today we're gonna act on this war, so my first step will be splitting up uh, this small army into three groups, one station south, one station north, and uh, part of the troops going to Dendi. And the second step will be sending uh, my northern army and the southern army, which should be the second and fifth army. Yes, second and fifth army to uh, Gao. And when these troops arrive here, I'm gonna declare war on Kanembornu and invade their mainland. We have a tech advantage. And if everything goes as planned, we will have also um, superiority in numbers. Hopefully, Mamluks will soon send some forces. Uh, so far, it seems like they are more busy with uh, their other neighbors, uh, namely Adal and Darfur. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'll get back to you when uh, my plan is uh, ready. By the way, while my troops are being repositioned, I was asked uh, questions about what Europe looks like. I can see much of Europe, I can just see um, some of the names, so it seems that Portugal is still intact, uh, Castile as well, uh, France as well, but one thing that bothers me is that Poland seems to be much bigger than it originally was. Uh, Ottomans, on the other hand, uh, seems to be shrinking. I'm not sure if they entered the war uh, with um, uh, with the Mamluks, so I'm not actually sure. This is all I can see, and I don't want to show you the map uh, because I am an outcast. Uh, one of the rules of this game uh, makes it impossible for me to ally with anyone uh, apart from my own religion and as all the players are currently in Europe uh, that makes me uh, well one against everyone <laughs> so uh, the fact is that I mine incredible amount of gold every day so my lands would be a welcome addition to any nation in Europe I'm sure we'll see some uh, pretty nasty colonial wars yeah at some times, in some times, so uh, be prepared for that. Anyways, my troops are being uh, stationed and uh, moving on, but I'm not actually uh, entering the war yet. I want to see uh, Mamluks invading Kanembornu. Though they seem to be more interested in Adal and all the other um, other neighbors, so I'll give it some time. Okay, I'm in a bad situation right now. Uh, the Mamluks actually called me into war against uh, Ottomans, Chandarolu, Sulus, and uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. On the other hand, I don't want to lose uh, my alliance and my Casus Belli on uh, Kanembornu. So that's a really tricky situation. Uh, you can see that. Uh, there is a Kanembornu army here and another one moving uh, to it uh, right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna declare war on uh, Kanembornu myself and I'm gonna decline uh, this call to arms. So yeah, let's do it with uh, Conquest Casus Ballet. Who would I? Nice the man looks Oh no, like this. Okay, so now we are at war and I'm gonna decline this offer because that's gonna 
uh, be a bitch to uh, do. Second of all, we need some uh, good leaders, so fingers crossed. Oh, this one is extremely good. And this one is not bad at all as well. So, um, I'm gonna unify my uh, armies in... Well, this is a level 3 fort. Okay, this is a level 2, so I'm gonna go to Zinder, Sokoto, and Katsina. Nah, I'm gonna go to, um, to Zinder and uh, Force Siege, the same in Sokoto. Then I guess I'll pull back to Agadez. Well, we'll see. Okay, so Zinder has fallen to our hands uh, almost immediately. And we have now moved to Sokoto. We have a sufficient amount of cavalry. And, um... Uh, Husfit, oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have a sufficient amount of soldiers here to not be able to force siege uh, this settlement. So hopefully... Yeah, we're doing pretty good. However, I don't think it will fall in this turn. Nope, what we killed almost um, half of the soldiers. Okay, and there goes uh, the first army. So I'm gonna ignore it for now. Uh, I'll deal with it after I destroy uh, the settlement in Sokoto and... Uh, yeah, what it garrison or something. Uh, in the meantime, I'm recruiting uh, some troops in Gao, which will uh, be stationed in Agadez, and hopefully it might uh, fall. Um, I don't want to siege it because it has a level 3 fort and uh, trebuchet and everything, so uh, that would be a costly siege. Okay, uh, Sokoto is now uh, in our hands and I'm moving my whole army to Dendi for resupply and uh, defeat of the Kanemborn army. There's actually a huge amount of soldiers uh, there, uh, 6 and 10 regiments and only 9 of them are, uh, well the rest is dead, uh, either on attrition or battles uh, somewhere else. Uh, after this is done, I'll probably wait here and um, see how everything goes. I might uh, decide to uh, actually siege Agadez uh, forcefully and hold these provinces because I rem just realized that the last time we lost uh, the province just by holding it for enough time. So that might be the strategy I will go for here. Uh, because it might be better than trying to ask for it uh, via peace uh, agreement. And this should be over quickly. And they'll fight to their last breath. Just look at that. Admirable. However, Zinder is almost uh, fully garrisoned, and um, so is Sokoto. Uh, we'll hold here uh, until we resupply, and then it's Agadez for us. I tried for sieging Agadez, and it's actually not all that bad. We lost uh, only about 3,000 men, and the fort is on half of their strength now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, I'm uh, reinforcing uh, Yatanga and Tangiza. Uh, I su suppose uh, that this might be a long attrition war, so we're gonna have we'll we'll have to deal with a lot of revolts uh, in the meantime. So I want to be ready for that. Okay, Agadez has just fallen into my hands, so I'm moving the forces back and. Hmm, these guys are going to Zinder. I'll probably split the army um, in Dendi into several regiments and station them around here. I've seen a lot of troops being uh, recruited, uh, so I'm not sure how 
are kind of born and serious about this. But at this point, they uh, refuse to take any treaty. I managed to get Darfur out of this war, but it would be helpful if I, if Zazo, uh, you know, uh, accepted peace as well. However, they won't because um, they are uh, a vassal or they're in personal union or they're a vassal partner. So. And bad, no, good. Oh, uh, I just uh, thought that um, Cunnamborn accepted peace from uh, the Mamluks. They didn't. Okay, we just gained Dendi. Uh, no, not the Dendi, sorry, uh, Katsina. We're moving back to Dendi. And um, my manpower is not acting the way I would like it, uh, so I'll have to somehow m minimize uh, the damage that attrition is doing to me. And he still won't accept any uh, white piece or anything, so uh, I'll probably split the troops into these three provinces. Um, yeah, but first I'll... Oh god, this is getting bad. What's the support limit? Uh, 13... 7! <laughs> 7... And... I can't... Uh, find out what to see. So one more province. I'll... Um, take... Uh, Kebi. And then... Um, I'll... Uh, split my troops and station them here. So... Any invading army will have to break um, on this, oh, let's say, uh, taken land. We can change our sliders and, of course, a step towards quality. And a new commandant, very good. So our um, discipline is now 105. Now that's something. Damn. They regained Kebe. Okay, I just managed to eliminate ah, oh, 17,000 and 8,000 uh, enemy troops. We won all of the battles, uh, we hold all the territories uh, I wanted. So, if everything goes as planned, uh, we'll win this war. Now, we have to be careful because our manpower is going down and our attrition is going up. However, uh, things are looking really decent and the enemy is still not inclined to talk so we'll just have to be careful about that Kanembornu is now at war just with us and several other minor nations like Oyo which may finally be useful uh, for once they will patrol these two provinces for us and one of the major armies is coming to Zinder so when they do like this I'm gonna move like this and attack them and if you notice our manpower has raised uh, by full uh, 2268 soldiers so at this point we can uh, do this almost uh, infinitely which is exactly what I was going for uh, our war score will raise and uh, sooner or later Kanem Bornu will give up while um, the other nations will abandon them 28th of December 24th of December that's correct would you accept white peace? they wouldn't Kanem Bornu is retreating which is, I guess, uh, good news. 20th of April. 24th of April. Um, they're going to Kebi. And we have uh, Katsinian nationalists here. Hmm. I want to destroy this army because it seems virtually exhausted so I'm gonna 
I'll risk a bit more of my men and unite them in Katsina then I'll head down to Kebi. Oh! Support of the Ulema. Uh, reward them for their uh, support. Accept their approval. Uh, We could use this, so I'm gonna go with um, investing the money and stuff. And of course, we have a problem. Soon we'll have cannons, and then it's gonna be funny. Yeah, we we'll have around 25 regiments that should be enough to attack Kebby. Oh, glory of the army. Cool. You guys go here. I'm gonna back up the army in Dendi, so in case uh, this will not go well, uh, and we'll retreat to Katsina, uh, it's important to have a backup army there, uh, so we won't get eliminated. Uh, too late. Well, anyways, this should look. This looks like fun. So you guys prepare in Katsina. Oh damn! Again? Any armies on the horizon? No, none. None at all. Okay, we're all up to ten thousand uh, men in reserve. But we're taking heavy casualties here. Yeah, finally. Good numbers. We need to kill these guys. And they're retreating to where? To Kano? Ah, that's too big of a risk. Did I unite these armies? Now where's the other 8,000 I had? Was it destroyed? No, I don't think it was. Did I send it somewhere? Uh... Wait, where is it? Armies. Oh, it was showing them. Yeah, I... Oh yeah, I did unite them. Just haven't realized that. Awesome! Province gained. Zinder is now ours! Three times hooray! So this strategy really works, we just have to hold them uh, long enough and they will fall. That's just great. Okay, huge victory, we just eliminated um, well a lot of regiments. Oh, and we gained level 15 in our land technology. So that means we get cannons. Cannons, cannons, cannons. Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing new here. Mm, for those of you who didn't hear this in my other campaigns, uh, it is believed modern Halvitzers have their name from the Hofnitze artillery developed by the Hussites in the 15th century. These short-barreled guns were mounted on wagons and used on the field of battle to fire balls and canisters in support of the infantry. Uh, somebody attacked Sokodo, that's okay. So now, uh, we're gaining some gold. So I think we can uh, get some guns. 
Okay, these are expensive, so let's just get two. Hope for the best. I don't even have enough manpower to resupply my uh, forces entirely now, so I really have to start holding back. Always peaceful on the Eastern Front. Uh, there's just a shitload of troops uh, from Kanemborn all moving to Sokodo to support uh, defense, which I welcome because then I can crush them in one big hit. And my forces are being constantly uh, resupplied, which is good as well. Um, no attrition gain. Oh wow, we're getting attrition now. Is it because of the Dendi army? I find it hard to believe, but... And support limit is 17, so... Oh, and uh, we need just uh, 1,700 men to get to uh, full power. There's a revolt in Kebe which will destroy the rest of the Oyan army. And I might just go try to get Katsina from these guys. I'm not sure they won't retreat. They might, because they did that. Uh, almost every time I uh, made a hostile move, yeah, they're retreating. Uh, but on the good side, I managed to piece out everyone except uh, Conan Borman and Zazao, well, so it's just uh, me and them now. Conan Borman managed to whip up quite an army and is uh, sieging both Katsina and Kebi now. However, I don't think we're in any immediate danger. I attacked them, uh, killed a bunch of them, and was defeated, so we retreated to Dendi. However, now um, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it better uh, the way uh, that will make sure that we take uh, both of these places. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is a bit bold, uh, but Kano and uh, Kuka are, well, especially Kano uh, with its trade sender is quite valuable. So I was thinking of moving half of my army to Sokoto, half of my army to Dendi, uh, uniting it in Katsina, killing this army, sieging and gaining Kano, destroying the army in Keb Kebi. That might be a good idea. And it might finally break Kanemborno, their war capacity is going down, so at this point uh, we're winning, at this point we're finally winning. So I'm going forward with the plan, um, with a small exception, after we kill the army in Katsina, I'm gonna destroy the army in uh, Kebi first, and uh, then move to Kano. Oh, this is really a massacre going down here. Come on, we need those reinforcements here soon. Yep, this should do it. This ought to do it. Or maybe if they retreat to Kano, I would uh, push there first. We'll see how that goes. Come on, finish them off. Uh, yeah, they're retreating to Kano, so let's move with them. Wait, we have a revolt in uh, Singeti. I completely missed that. And another one in Segu. So let's take care of that. And then take care of that. Okay, let's try this. Oh, plague. No, okay, we gained uh, Kano. So now let's destroy this army. 
network capacity is down to 80 which is great news however we're taking heavy attrition hmm. I'm going for as much as I can gain in this war I don't really care about infamy at this point uh, so this would be nice if we gained this that would be nice I would prefer gaining uh, Kuka instead of uh, Kebi. Come on, pwn them. Wow, 3,000, 2,800. And this is a huge battle. We can't lose this guys. Oh crap. Oh god no. No 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 no. Oh god. Are they going to eliminate my armies? Oh my god. They did. Fuck! We lost an entire army. It's like 30 regiments. Oh crap. So this is a huge setback. However, on the other hand, we'll be able to salvage the situation, I think. Okay, I'm trying my luck again. Uh, attacking the forces sieging Sokoto. I need to clear this and especially Kano if we're to hold it in the future. Um, kind of, kind of Burnu is at war with oil and for some reason they directed the, their full army there which uh, actually helps me a lot. I'm building a lot of troops in this area and they will uh, create a secondary army in Dendi. And the only problem I see with this is that uh, I am now not I'm not covered against any kind of revolt, so that's a bit um, frightening, I guess. Ah, oh, Jeebus, we lost again. Well, they're moving to. Well, they're moving to Kano. That's not such a good idea. We have to unite these armies and attack it. I'm sure they'll try to siege it. No. No, they're retreating. Actually, retreating. Huh. Interesting. Interesting event. It's called Katos. Meanwhile, in another country, a different branch of the Keita family is in dire straits. With their country destabilized, they now struggle to cling to power. If we do not help them now, their situation might worsen significantly. What is the best course of action? Family first brother. We bump our relations up by 40, lose 100 gold, gain prestige, or I already gave the office. Uh, well, I actually, it's in my best interest to support Mamluks. Uh, not to mention, it seems that they're at war with... No, they're not. Huh, what's our relation? 100, very unlikely. Let's do it. I want to support them in any way I can. And we'll reclaim our alliance soon. We managed to get Ife Ife and now we locked uh, this army in Kanembornu. I'm sending uh, my smaller army to um, Zindar to get rid of these um, annoying rebels and the bigger army is going to stay... Hmm, I'm moving to Katsina. I might 
allow them to do so. Where are they going to? No, uh, Katsina. But I'm gonna station my troops in Katsina. Anyways, there's uh, this reserve army made of uh, stray regiments and uh, broken soldiers. Uh, while uh, I'm trying to clear this area. Things are looking quite neat, actually. And I'm gonna intercept them in Kebi. Okay, we've eliminated uh, the army in Kebi. And we are now free to move forward. And again, the work capacity of Kalimbornu is falling. So unless I do something incredibly stupid like last time, I think uh, we're safe to attack Kuka now. We just received first offer of white peace from Kanem Bornu. And I'm gonna happily disregard that. Their war capacity is going down as we uh, conquer new and new provinces. Are sending more and more troops. However, they won't do a thing. Okay, three regiments uh, sieging till hit, so you guys go here. And we're gonna recruit you two more units. Okay, let's try to get rid of this army. The fact is that we're scraping the manpower. We need at least 15,000 men to fully reinforce all of our armies and... Oh, fuck you guys. Uh, so, what I'm guessing is that we're taking 13 or 14 year old guys to fight in this war. We're basically down the drain, but it's still worth. Because we're gonna win this and we're gonna gain a huge chunk of land. Another big battle is gonna commence here in Kuka. I'm sending all of my armies there to participate. Uh, what's this? Okay, why not? Royal marriage is good as anything else. While well, you guys are going to attack Zamfara and I'm mobilizing my troops there. Oh, not, not a bad start at all. I think if we eliminate this army, we've effectively broken uh, Kalimbornu down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mamluks. Get it. Oh my god. They're falling apart. Stability minus one. Hmm. Jeebus, take the wheel. Yeah, they're gone. I'm not sure if we should advance at this point, taking heavy casualties. Yep, their war capacity goes down. However, we have an open entrance to their capital. And that's something I cannot ignore. Even if I know it's a mistake, I'm gonna go and try to get it. By controlling the capital, we. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, not that much. It's Mandara. Their war capacity is at 50%. So let's see how this goes. Would they now... No, they still won't accept... Anything from me. I'm risking everything by pushing forward. Highlands Cavalry. 
Let's wait a turn and try to siege it. We'll see how that goes. Well, it's not going bad, we might actually take it. Go, 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 my loyal troops. Go, 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 go. Ah. Now let's go to Kuka and attack from Kuka. I think if we get this capital, it's gonna be over. They're just moving one regiment units around. It's so sad. On the 4th of January, we captured the capital of Kanembornu. Now, at this point we have 43% war score and they still won't surrender, so the war will have to continue. Uh, the only problem being that they amassed another big army. We have broken them. Uh, Kanembornu is now ready to negotiate. However, they won't give us more than uh, three provinces. Yeah. I want at least this. Well, maybe it would be. I would settle for this, but not for us. So the war has to continue, at least for a moment. Um, I'm unifying the forces again to swoop in here, and I'll destroy this army here. However, the manpower situation is growing worse every moment. I have to be extremely careful uh, with my progress because the idea of raising more army now is just hilarious. And their war capacity is 21%, so it should be pretty obvious that they will break any moment now. And it would not. How about this? No, still not. Okay, we'll have to punch them a bit more. Come on, guys, die. Die, 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 die. You know you want to. You know you have to. Make Uncle Alpha proud. If I had to choose, I guess Agade, Sokoto and Katsina would be the best ones. Hmm. Dang it, man! Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna take it. Um, I'll make them give up some cores. Maybe they would. No, they won't. Hmm. If we make them stop being their vast, so they will. They will give us all their gold. How nice of them. Wait, if they wouldn't give us Katsina, would they give us Kuka and... I don't know, if Ifen or Kebi? Yeah, they would, but... How would it help? It wouldn't. I'd rather take the gold. Okay, so we have gained four provinces and... I don't want to let my troops die that's uh, more important than uh, than gaining one province so yeah let's do this so this was an insanely long war that took almost whole session but I had fun 
I had fun. So this is the new map of Africa. We gained four provinces, which is less than I would like to, however it saved us from a fatal defeat and probably a hugely protracted war. Um, and I'm quite content with that. The problem I see in this situation is that uh, I think Mammoths will collapse and Cannonball will push uh, eastwards, which I don't like. I don't like that idea. I switched to production technology and would like to uh, get it to 12 uh, next, well, this session. Uh, to the end of this session, we might do that. Um, then probably land. However, uh, the raising costs make me think I might rather switch to naval and finally get the Carex and dry dock. Be nice. Still in doubt what to do with the trade. I have no idea why it costs so much. If anybody knows that, let me know. I'll fix that as soon as I can. Okay, uh, things are sort of on an autopilot right now. We're having quite um, a big revolt risks in the new parts of our kingdom, while in the other ones things are slowly uh, heading to normal. I lowered the maintenance to what could be the minimum. I uh, I'm finishing the production technology which we will gain in uh, about a week and building some courthouses, uh, building a fort in Sokodo, uh, building several training camps. So things are slowly getting back to the economic side of the game. Now I have made the decision to go for trade right now uh, because I want to see what the cost of the next trade technology will be however as we're getting um, yeah neighbor bonus 5.2 I think that we're quite behind the time when trade sound but yeah I'm kind of bonus 7 as well but fast is 12 I'm not the only one. Everyone sucks in trade here. But it's one of the most important technologies. <laughs> Level 9 is marketplace, which is really useful and cheap. Uh, where is it? Where is marketplace? No. Here? Yeah, it gives bonus to tax modifier, uh, increases uh, merchants, uh, population growth, and local trade income. These things uh, would be greatly helpful if we uh, had them in every province. So we'll see. So far Timbuktu is just appalling. It's uh, really huge, however we're gaining so little. It makes me want to cry. After trade, I'm gonna probably go for naval and finish the land technology. We'll see. So we decided to end it here. I'm ending with uh, interesting news. I finally managed for the first time to gain a level 5 land reformer. So this guy will now give us plus 15 uh, in arm, arm land. Sorry. It's quite wide. Um, it will give us plus 15 in land technology investment. So that means we have three level 5 advisors. That's how I like it. It was a good session. Uh, we had quite a lot of fun. It was a long war session. Uh, we achieved victory, but it was a custom one. We're ending uh, with almost all men uh, refilled. We have enough uh, young men to um, completely refill our units five times. Uh, the war exhaustion is down to 12.16, so 
that's good as well. Uh, we managed to up inland and finally get uh, some cannons and we're going straight for trade now. Uh, next session, somewhere in the beginning, we'll get a level 15 in uh, government, however that's really not something we should uh, look forward to because uh, up until level 18 we won't get anything. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please let me know. And up until then, all the best.